Hello Gemini, welcome to your energy reading for the week of the 26th of September. As you may know, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates and drop the rest. So Gemini, I'm going to pick three cards and then with each card we get a clarifier and then we're going to pick some inspirational cards as well. So let's see what's up for you, Gemini, for this week. And we have the Seeker of Crystals. So many signs are getting this, right? This is a good one. I'll explain more. The um, second one is Five of Swords. Okay. And the third one, Gemini, for you is Snow White. Snow White. Okay, so let's see. Seeker of Crystal. So on a path to, uh, this has to do with a professional life, to do with financial prosperity, and you're on a path to seek more. But the guidance for you this week is that it is important to align with your higher self, align with divine guidance. And know that when you, when you align with divine guidance, you know and understand the true meaning of prosperity and you strike that balance really well in all aspects of your life. Um, very often people think that align with the divine means abandoning, align your divine means not having financial prosperity is not what it means, okay? It simply means that you strike a balance so that all aspects of your life will be prosperous, whether it's financial, whether it's relationship, whether it's energetic, whether it's health. It really doesn't matter. But you're on a path to seek and what is asked of you is that you truly need to align with your divine guidance and to, you know, listening to your intuition, listening to your soul self, so that you are clearer on the direction that you want to go, that will help you to um, prosper, really, in all aspects of your life, okay? So a very big part is about, maybe you are in your own way and you don't know it, right? And you're in your own way, um, your ego self is telling you this direction, where your higher self or your soul self is telling you this direction. So who do you listen to? Obviously, your soul self, because your soul self knows better. The ego self only has a limited capacity to see things and so the view of your ego self is not as, um, the picture is not as big for the ego, right? Put it that way. So let's be a clarifier for the seeker of crystals and see what we have for you, Gemini. And we have, your commitment is being tested. So whatever path you have chosen in terms of your professional life, in terms of how you want to grow uh, financially, you know, your commitment is being tested. So watch out for all these tests coming up this week and um, stay committed, right? And then, you know, you get there. Now, um, Five of Swords, this has a lot to do with what, how you're seeing the world right now, how you're relating to the world, how you're relating to self. It seems as though your reality is being shaken. Uh, what you thought was truth is no longer truth and you're perspective of things in your mindset is all changing. It's all good because it means progress, it means growth, but uh, you may be tempted to just hold on to past mindsets or past perspectives which may not serve you, which may uh, make you feel like you're in your comfort zone, but then you know it doesn't take you anywhere. So your reality may be shaken, you may feel like you're standing on shaky ground and you don't know what to hang on to, allow it to happen. Um, allow your change of perspective to help you to grow, to help you to develop, to help you to take you further. Expand your mindset, right? And this is all necessary for growth. Now let's see what we get as a clarifier for this particular card. It just needs exciting changes, you know. I feel that um, usually people are fearful when their reality is changing or mindset is changing or what they thought was truth is no longer true. You know, everything is just, you know, like house of cards, right? Everything is falling apart. And, uh, but it is, it can signify something exciting. It doesn't have to be bad. So clarify here, a fiery climax approaches. So it's as though you're reaching this point where you go like, okay, I've had enough of this old thing going on. Right? I want to see my reality differently, I want to experience life differently, and I'm ready to shift my perspective. What I thought, what I thought was true is no longer true anymore. Uh, it could be yourself, it could be other people, it could be situations as well. So Gemini, be open to that. Okay. So your third card here is Snow White. 
So as we know, the um, story of Snow White is she grew through uh, making mistakes, right? I mean, she got she she got scammed. <laughs> she got scammed several times um, by the stepmother, right? Eating the apple and and all of that, right? She got scammed several times, and then she. Um, learn a really difficult lesson, but got rescued by the dwarves, right? The dwarves help her. So these dwarves signify um, other aspects of our consciousness, okay? So uh, basically this lesson or the, the, the energy presented to you this week and the lessons that you need to learn is what are the mistakes you have made in your past and what does your inner wisdom say to you? What are these different aspects of your personality telling you from all of these lessons that or mistakes that you have made and what have you learned. So it's about time to reflect on past lessons. And I feel as though you're entering this new cycle and you that temptation to repeat the same lessons may be there. So just be aware of this, that you do not go into the same cycle again and again and again. Let's make a clarifier for you, Gemini. Now if you hear some uh, background noise, that's the rain falling hard, so I hope it's not causing too much of a distraction. So a card flipped here, so let's see what this card says. Don't let pride get in the way. Okay, this is important. Uh, that was a flipped card that I picked, but let's pick one. Um, wow, another one flipped, and this one says, a time to give rather than take. A time to give rather than take. I'm not sure where you can see because of the glare. All right, a time to give rather than take. So let's pick one inspirational card from this fairy deck. Gemini, this is for you. Look in a book, okay? And whatever your question is right now, you find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring the insight you seek. So whatever book, whether it's personal transformation or a religious book, you can Use that to inspire you to seek the answers that you are looking for. Look in the book. Let's see what the action card says for you from the Soul Truth deck. This is for Gemini. And we have... What do I believe about money? Do my beliefs match my dreams? What do I believe about money? What do my, be do my beliefs match my dreams? Right? Take a deep dive in your belief system about money. Are there any beliefs you need to upgrade to create the results you are wanting more in your life? Write out your money story. Is it time to for uh, is it time for a sacred shift? What will your next chapter be like? Okay. So Gemini, I wish you a wonderful week. If you like this video message, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. If you want some clarity about your personal journey, you can always book a private session. Details are down below in the description box. Have a wonderful week ahead. God bless.